Hello and welcome to SQL TV. This time I created a video outside of my regular schedule because the SQL Server 2016 Service Pack 1 is here and I really wanted to make a video about this. And I picked out uh, five of the top features that I think are the top features of uh, this Service Pack. So stay tuned and let's jump right in. Number one. Besides the drop if exists command, which we uh, already received with the RTM version, we now have also the create or alter a statement for views, triggers, and uh, stop procedures. So we can easily just make create one script for uh, deploying this or, and also for maintaining this without the, having the knowledge if it's already there or not. We just override it with the current version, and that makes our life very easy. So let's just drop this uh, view that I created already right here. Now let's create it or alter it. So it's created here. Now let's select something from it. And we can easily just uh, change this by adding some different stuff here. And then we can query it again and we see we have the change right here. Number two, the DBCC clone database command. Basically, it's for DBAs or developers or performance tuners who want really to analyze the statistics, the indexes, or uh, just do performance tests on the live system, but your live system is inaccessible since it's under heavy load and you don't want to really interfere there. You want to have a, a quick copy without having to back up, restore everything. So here you have the possibility, you just type DBCC clone database, your source database name and your destination database name. Let's just run it. It just runs for uh, a while and then it, we have the uh, cloned database here. As you can see here on the left side, uh, this database is uh, read only. So it is really meant to be an, a data a clone for your analysis, for a quick check, uh, for seeing the statistics, for running your queries and see what is going on. It's very easy and new and, uh, to, uh, and, and of course easy to use. You don't need backup restore and everything like that. Number three, we have the new use hint um, commands which you can use as a query option. Um, it basically works the same as a query trace on uh, hints, which you can also put. But here you have more, uh, more, yeah, like names. What would will happen here, and you don't need to recall the numbers there. And also the big difference from using hint. Uh, to uh, using tr query trace on is that hint does not require the sysadmin privileges. For instance, here we I took false legacy cardinality ex estimation, and as you can see, we here we have two hundred thirty one thousand approximately estimated number of rows, and in this one we have two hundred twenty eight thousand. So it takes the legacy cardinality estimation which was in place prior to twenty sixteen SQL Server version. Number four. You can actually see um, live data of a running query. The only prerequisite is that you have the set statistics profile on here. So we can just run um, this query here and we have to pass to the new DMF, DMX query statistics XML, the session ID, and we can just get uh, live data. Let's see, you can just run it here and here you get, if we were, if we were fast enough, we get the uh, live data like the session ID, the SQL handle, the plan handle, and the query plan containing already live data. Number five, last but not least, we have um, also in this tab, we have uh, additional information for the XML plan. So let's just click here on um, getting the actual execution plan and let's run the query. And as you can see here in the execution plan properties, you, we see a few new measures. For instance, we see the new measure query time stats where we have CPU time and elapsed time of the query. And we also see the top weight stats for that query. So in this case, we have here the uh, reserve memory allocation extension, which was wait time only of one millisecond. And here we have the async network IO where we had a wait time of around 4.3 uh, 4,000 milliseconds. So this is th those are new measurement features for uh, your actual execution plans. 
and yeah this is this is all about uh, my personal top five of uh, features for sql server 2016 service pack one enjoy it uh, download it as soon as possible uh, and try it out i will leave a link in the description below for for a full list of features uh, and for a more detailed version of it of course so thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video on the weekend and see you soon bye